Well, it's summer, and that means it's a great time for the road trip, but a pair of Ontarians are taking that to a new level. Placing, I think it's more just the, the journey, uh, not so much the destination. It's just getting there and the fun of, of doing it. And it's a journey that will take them all the way to Mongolia. Coming up on the news hour, we'll tell you what they have to go through to get there. We could use some mechanical help as they set out on an adventure of a lifetime. The pair embarking on a race that doesn't really require any skill or training, just a very old, rundown camper. Global's Laura Zilke explains. So we're going from here to roughly about here. In two weeks, long. Doug Arculus and Mark Alberts will embark yeah. on an incredible adventure. They, along with three others, will compete with teams from around the world to drive from London, England to central Mongolia. The thing about the rally is there is no specified route. You can go however you want. The group is an adventurous type. They participated in the Burning Man Festival and they made videos in India. As a group, they call themselves the Hobo Logistics. We've gone um, on a houseboat trip in northern BC one year. Uh, we've gone down to California, down to uh, Big Sur and the coast. We did that one year. But this time, there's a catch. This is what they'll be driving across 19 countries, three deserts and seven mountain ranges. One of the rules of this road race, the vehicle they drive must have an engine of less than one liter. Ours is a 1989 Bedford Rascal Bambi, is what it's called. It's a camper van that sleeps two. Um, there's going to be five of us in it. And the company that manufactured this thing went out of business 15 years ago. The distance they'll be driving is an exhausting 16,093 kilometers. That's roughly like driving from Vancouver to St. John's, Newfoundland, back to Vancouver, then driving east again to Regina. I think it's more just the, the journey, uh, not so much the destination. It's just getting there and the fun of, of doing it. And about the stories they'll have to tell when they get home. Laura Zilke, Global News, Toronto.